Hey folks, it's Chef Kevin. Hope you're doing good. Tonight I'm making an unusual dish. I'm making stuffed peppers. So what's so unusual about that? Okay, to begin with, I'm going to be using ground lamb. Most people use ground beef or ground pork. You can also use ground chicken or ground turkey. But I'm using ground lamb and I'm going to put sort of a Greek spin on it as well. But the key is I'm going to finish it off in the barbecue. Give it a nice smoky flavor. Let's take a look at the ingredients I got here. Let's start out with the ground lamb. This is one pound of ground lamb. I'm also going to be using four different colors of bell peppers and it's important when you buy the pepper make sure it has a nice shape to it and I try to find one that has a flat bottom so it sits in the dish properly sometimes you can't get a real flat one but you can just cut off a little little end okay I'm using fire roasted tomatoes with garlic I'm using Moroccan harissa sauce, nice hot sauce. I have some fresh oregano. I have some olives here, olive jubilee, green olives, kalamata olives. Not a good nice. I have some Mexican cheese. Yeah, I know that's real Greek. And of course I have salt and pepper over there. First thing I'm going to do is prep the peppers. Okay, I just washed my peppers. Took off those silly labels. Okay, I'm going to cut the top off of this, but I'm not going to cut it right off, right through. What I'm going to do is just cut into the flesh around the pepper sort of like that and then twist the pepper top off and usually get most of the webbing out but I didn't in this case so I'll take a spoon You want to carve out the webbing because that could be bitter. Okay, nice and clean. Let's try another one. Just going to cut the top off. nice clean receptacle this yellow one I'm going to just take a little off the bottom to flatten it that way it sits up nice okay I'm gonna finish these off and then go to the next step okay here are my beautiful peppers and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bake them in an oven 350 degrees for 20 minutes and what's that going to do is it's going to pre-cook them a little bit soften them up pre-cook them the the stuffing that gets placed within the peppers are going to be pre-cooked so I don't want to overcook the stuffing but yet I want to make sure that the pepper is cooked through if I didn't pre-cook them the, the stuffing would probably be overcooked Okay, into the oven. 
Okay, I have a nice big skillet here heating up. There's no need to add any extra fat. Lamb is fatty. Now what I want to do is render this down, render the fat out of that. Get some caramelization as well. We need a different spoon. If you like lamb, this is a good recipe for you. Okay, this will take about uh, four or five minutes, perhaps. And then if, if there's any residual fat, I'll pour it out. We're cooking away, folks. Barbecue stuffed peppers. It's what's for dinner. If you've seen any of these videos, actually this is my dinner for tonight. Okay, just add some salt and pepper to that. Gonna keep breaking this up. Tossing it around. In the meantime, the peppers are pre cooking. This is going to be a nice meal. Okay, as you can see, the meat is nice and brown. It's all broken up. And as you can probably see, there's a fair amount of grease still in the bottom. I'm going to get that out of there and how I'm going to do that is simple. I'm going to pour the lamb into a, a strainer that has a bowl underneath it. Okay, I'm going to let this cool down a little bit, get that oil out of there, there's a lot of oil under there. And then I'm going to start making the rest of the stuffing. Okay, so let's make the tomato sauce. A little olive oil. Some fresh garlic, this is three pieces. Not gonna let that, let that cook too long. Now I'm not using any type of dried herb at all. Everything is fresh, no dried anything. You wanna make something taste nice? Go out of your way and get the fresh herbs. Okay, this is just going to take uh, just a minute or so. So it's been about 20 minutes. The tomatoes have broken down nicely. have a nice semi-smooth sauce. That was about three tablespoons of fresh oregano. And that'll really brighten up that sauce. I'm gonna add my lamb into the sauce. Stir that up nice.
We're going to add about a cup of pre-cooked Asatni rice. You can use whatever type of rice you like. This is what I had here. Now if you like more rice, you add more rice. You're the chef, you're in charge. I just tasted this sauce and it is really nice and spicy. A lot of nice flavor. Okay, that's just about the consistency that I'm looking for. It's not too wet, it's not too dry. Last thing to do is stuff the peppers. Let's do it, I'm running out of daylight. I'm gonna put a little spray oil on the outsides. This will let it cook up a little bit better. Give it some color, a little char. I want to fill these up nice and full. Sort of like that. Okay, that was the perfect amount of ingredients. No waste. Now if I did have some leftover beef, sorry, leftover lamb, I would have just placed it around the base of the peppers. You can't throw that away. Okay, my Mexican cheese. Now originally I was thinking of using goat cheese because that you can't get any more Greek than goat cheese, but I wasn't quite sure how that would melt down. And to be honest, I'm not really a big fan of goat cheese. I like it in my salad, but that's about it. Okay. Next thing to do is go outside and put it on the barbecue. The filling is already cooked. The peppers are pre-cooked. So this really shouldn't take more than about uh, 20 minutes. And what I'll do is as, as I'm cooking them, I'll take a fork and just try to pierce the flesh and monitor how done it is from there. Okay. Sun is setting, so I want to get out there. I don't have any lights out, out in the backyard yet. Well, folks, here's my outdoor kitchen. A 19-inch Weber. No bells or whistles. And a makeshift plywood table. That's all I really need for now. Okay, I'm setting up the barbecue, as you can see. And... Getting ready to dump that can into the barbecue. And I'm going to cook these indirect. So what I'm going to do is take all the coals and place them to one side of the barbecue. And then on the other side, the cool side, I will have the peppers. And the dish that I have the peppers in is an oven-proof dish. It's heavy cast iron so it's suitable for this type of use. 
I'm also going to be throwing in some Jack Daniels oak barrel chips. This is going to be nice and smoky. We're smoking. Okay, the barbecue is almost ready to go. Um, right now you're looking at the Chesapeake Bay, looking west. And there seems to be a large ship that's going to crash into the sun. Someone call 911. Okay, I'm going to run into the house and get the peppers. I'm just going to leave this video running. Maybe you'd like to enjoy the sunset. Okay, it looks like the ship did not crash into the sun. Oh, no! Okay, I'm going to rake these coals to the side. This is indirect cooking. Okay, here's my grate. And as you can see, it has hinges on both sides. And I'm going to place the hinge over the fire so I can add some Jack Daniels whiskey barrel smoking chips. Peppers in. Should take about 20-25 minutes. These are going to be nice and smoky, full of flavor, and hot. On the hot side, folks. This is the view from Jamesville, Virginia, the eastern shore of Virginia looking west. If you can see the shore across the the water, you have good eyes because that's 14 miles away. I can actually see it off camera but not on camera. Okay, it's time to add a little Jack Daniel smoking chips here. Anybody want some Jack? Gonna spin this around so it cooks evenly. I'm going to go ahead and stab it. They're still fairly firm. I 
That melted cheese looks so good. Okay, let's smoke these bad boys up. Say nighty night to the sun. See you tomorrow. Hasta mañana. Now what you're looking at through the smoke is my dog on the far side, but more importantly, I'm working on a raised bed there's going to be to grow herbs and all sorts of vegetables this year. This is my first year down here, so I want to start getting into the farming thing. Also, the fishing thing, I have my own pier. There's crabs out there, I know. I caught some last year. There's plenty of striped bass, drum fish, a lot of good stuff out there. Okay, folks, I think these bad boys are done. Looks like that green pepper fell over. Okay, I'm going to bring this inside and we'll cut one open and see what it looks like. Okay, folks, let's take a pepper and I'll cut it up and analyze it. Come to Papa. Okay. It looks nice. It has a little burning around the edge, but that's nice. Now add some flavor. The cheese is nice and gooey. Let's just go ahead and cut this right in half without burning myself. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, it looks good. Oh, I can smell the smoke. Mm. That is awesome. Perhaps the pepper itself could have been cooked a little bit more through. But you don't want to cook it too much or it's going to fall apart on you. I love the harissa sauce. It's not over the top. But it does kick you. The olives really add a lot to the dish. Adds a little acidity. The addition of the fresh garlic really comes through nice. Hmm. You know, on second thought. I think the peppers are cooked perfect. You want a little crunch. You don't want overcooked food.
Now I could have mixed some cheese into the mix to stuff the peppers, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted the lamb to be the prominent note. But the cheese, to <coughs> excuse me, the cheese topping really choking on this stuff. So good. Mm. Okay, folks. I know you don't want me to stand here and tell you how great I am. If you like my videos, if you like me, my cooking style, then you know what to do. This is Chef Kevin. Hasta mañana. Throw me a freaking bone here.